Hello, this is Leighton Swenson again. I received a couple of comments on YouTube after not checking my YouTube channel for quite some time and realized that I needed to post a, maybe a follow-up video that might help people out there trying to understand the midpoint formula a little better. So here's a quick review. Uh, the midpoint formula is uh, quantity 2 minus quantity 1 over quanti quantity 1 plus quantity 2 divided by 2. And then the same thing with price 2 minus price 1, price 1 plus price 2 over 2. Um, if the results are greater uh, than one absolute value, the demand is elastic. If the results are less than one absolute value, the demand is inelastic. And if the results are equal uh, to one absolute value, the demand is unit elastic. So let's go over what this means um, and why, why it would be important to us uh, to find that out. Uh, by the way, if you, if you want maybe another uh, video, uh, let's check out my first video about, um, about the midpoint formula. So what is, unis, you, what is elastic demand? The elastic demand is the percentage change of the quantity demanded. Uh, that is greater than the percentage change in the price. So if price, if the gas price goes down by 50 cents and people go crazy filling up their tanks, then typically quantity demanded is going to be greater than the amount um, of the price change. Uh, so with that said, what is inelastic demand? Inela inelastic demand is the percentage change of the quantity demanded uh, is actually less than the change in the price. So where elastic demand is greater, the demand is greater with the, than the percentage change in price. Inelastic is, uh, has a greater, um, a greater price change, but less quantity demanded. And then unit, unit elastic here is uh, the percentage change in uh, quantity demanded equals the price change, the percentage change in price. This is something that rarely is going to occur um, exactly like that. If I raise the price by 10%, I will get 10% uh, demand. Um, but those are basically the three main points or things that you can find from the midpoint formula. So. Basically, in sum, the midpoint formula will help you be able to find out how changing your price will be will affect the demand of your good or service. So, uh, thank you very much, and check out my other video if you have any other questions about midpoint formula, or shoot me some comments on YouTube. Thanks.